With all the talk about a shift in the market, you might think that this is a housing bubble like we saw back in 2008, but here's some concrete data that shows you that this is nothing like the last time. This first graph above shows the supply of homes and it's nothing like it was back in 2008. The red is showing 2007, 8, 9, and 10, and the blue is showing 2019 through today. And you can see we definitely had much more homes for sale back in during that time. This information is coming from the National Association of Realtors. This next graph shows that back in 2008, we did have that housing bubble at the top there and lending standards had dropped to bare minimums. Anybody could get a loan. Whereas today, you see the lending standards definitely improved, and even now today, they are lower, and that means there are much more strict guidelines for lending. Finally, this third graph shows that foreclosure starts are way down. Again, look at the time period during that crash, during that bubble, and now today, this black line is showing that 67,000 number. So right in right at that point is where we are today with 67,000 foreclosure starts in quarter three of 2022. And this just means that homeowners today have many more options than they did back in 08 because most home values are way up so they can get out of the mortgages and sell their property and come away with actually some profit instead of going into foreclosure. It's really easy to listen to those headlines and think of the worst is happening, but if you are thinking of moving, buying, selling, or whatever in the next six to 12 months, it's best to get the real information, talk to somebody that can help, and if you live in the St. Louis area, I'm happy to help.